Fincuronium trademarked as pavilon, is an aministeroid muscle relaxant with various medical uses. It is used in euthanasia and is the second of three drugs administered during most lethal injections in the United States. Mechanism of action Fincuronium is a typical non-depolarizing curare mimetic muscle relaxant. It competitively inhibits the nicotinic acetylcholine receptor at the neuromuscular junction by blocking the binding of acetylcholine. It has slight vagolytic activity, causing an increase in heart rate, but no ganglioplegic i.e., blocking ganglions activity. It is a very potent muscle relaxant drug, with an ED95 i.e., the dose that causes 95% depression of muscle twitch response of only 60 micrograms per kilogram body weight. Onset of action is relatively slow compared to other similar drugs, in part due to its low dose, an intubating dose takes 3 to 6 minutes for full effect. Clinical effects, muscle activity lower than 25% of physiological, last for about 100 minutes. The time needed for full, over 90% muscle activity, recovery after single administration is about 120 to 180 minutes in healthy adults. The effects of pancuronium can be at least partially reversed by anticholinesterasics, such as neostigmine, pyridostigmine, and edrophonium. Development Pancuronium is designed to mimic the action of two molecules of acetylcholine with the quaternary nitrogen atoms spaced rigidly apart by the steroid rings at a distance of 10 atoms interonium distance. Decamethonium and succimethonium also have this same interonium distance. Uses in medicine Fincuronium is used with general anesthesia in surgery for muscle relaxation and as an aid to intubation or ventilation. It does not have sedative or analgesic effects. Side effects include moderately raised heart rate and thereby arterial pressure and cardiac output, excessive salivation, apnea and respiratory depression, rashes, flushing, and sweating. The muscular relaxation can be dangerous in the seriously ill and it can accumulate leading to extended weakness. Pancuronium is not preferable in long-term use in ICU ventilated patients. In Belgium and the Netherlands, pancuronium is recommended in the protocol for euthanasia. After administering sodium theopental to induce coma, pancuronium is delivered in order to stop breathing. Uses in execution and suicide Procedure It is also used as one component of a lethal injection in administration of the death penalty in some parts of the United States. Controversy like all non-depolarizing muscle relaxants, pancuronium has no effect on level of consciousness. Therefore, if the anesthetic used is insufficient, the individual may be awake but unable to cry out or move due to the effect of the pancuronium. There have been several civil lawsuits alleging similar failures of adequate anesthesia during general surgical procedures. These have been largely due to improper or insufficient dosages of anesthetic in concert with normal dosages of muscle relaxants such as pancuronium. In 2007, Michael Monroe, a Scottish neonatologist at Aberdeen Maternity Hospital, was cleared of malpractice by the GMC Fitness to practice panel after giving 23 times the standard dose of pancuronium to two dying neonates. In the final minutes of life, each baby was suffering from agonal gasping and violent body spasms, which was highly distressing for the parents to witness. Monroe administered pancuronium to the babies after advising the parents that this would ease their suffering and could also hasten death. It is on record that neither of the children's parents was unhappy with Dr. Monroe's treatment of their babies. Amnesty International has objected to its use in lethal injections on the grounds that it may mask the condemned prisoners suffering during the execution, thereby leading observers to conclude that lethal injection is painless, or less cruel than other forms of execution. Export limitations The United Kingdom bans the export of pancuronium bromide to the United States. Uses in crime Pancuronium was used in Efren Saldivar's killing spree. 
It was also used by the skin hunters to kill patients in the Polish city of Lodz. Pavilon was also used by Richard Angelo in 1987 to kill at least 10 patients under his care at the Good Samaritan Hospital in New York. References